hello twin flames thank you for being here for liking subscribing and all the amazing comments and feedback you leave me it means the world as you know and if you are new to the channel welcome subscribe join our family because we're here for you every day and they're giving me it's like a feeling that something's in the eye today so remember to look past illusion remember to look past fear or anything that's causing you pain in your physical world to see the truth that means if you see things on social media that trigger you, they are teaching you, teaching you to remember your power, to remember your worth and to know your truth of who you are as a divine feminine, that you are a leader and an example. So step out of fear and move into faith. Raise your vibration, focus on love and light and the future ahead and then those fears will dissipate. So today I'm going to use two stunning decks. Now, I want to give a big shout out today to our soul sister, John V. And her channel is Divinify Me. Now, she's amazing, okay? And I want to give her a big shout out, not only because of who she, are, as, who she is as a powerful divine feminine, who is also overcoming fears and illusion and being a leader and leading by example and standing strong, but because she's gifted me two of her fabulous decks of cards, the Divine Masculine Unmasked and the Angel Power Messages. Now, her channel is amazing. And, you know, she does do her channel in her own language. And sometimes, you know, we don't understand if we don't speak the language. But remember, love is universal. And when she shares a little short messages, they just blow me away. Okay, so I contacted her and said, John V, I just adore your decks. Where can I buy them from? And she was really kind and gifted me these two stunning decks. So if you love these decks as much as me, and I know you will, and if you do want to purchase them or you want to have a look at a channel and go and subscribe and, you know, give us some love and support, go to her channel, Divinity Me. And if I show you this here, it's also got a website on here. Well, it, she's got her, her email. It's divinityme with two e's at gmail.com. Okay, so I'll leave it there a second if you want to screenshot that. And I'll also put the link to her channel in the description box below so you can go and check her out. So let's use John V's cards to bring a message in. And this is the first time I'm using this deck. So I'm really excited. So we're going to start with an angel power message. So what's the energy, please, angels, around the connection today? The really big cards as well. These are very powerful. What's the energy around the divine feminines today? The energy around the divine feminines. There it is. It jumped out of the deck. And the energy around the divine masculine, please, angels. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to, yeah, it's that one there. Try and jump off the top. And this is the energy for the feminine. And then the masculine on mass. So I'm going to use this for the journey, the connection, the feminine and the masculine. So what's the energy around the connection today, please, angels? What do we need to know? The energy around the divine feminines and the energy around the divine masculines. Wow, okay. Let's do this then. This one's coming off on the top of the deck too, and this one. So three messages from the masculine. So the energy around the connection day, look at this. We've got truth. And I'm really feeling this energy where look through the illusion, see past the ego, which creates fear and negativity and doubt and struggle and see the truth. The truth is love. And we've got this beautiful kind of hammer coming down, which is another sign of karmic endings. But they are showing me this intuitively as a lantern. And we have to really go within and examine why we feel the way we do when we get triggered and what's going on within ourselves to understand ourselves, And that takes time and effort and energy. And that's where the masculines currently are. You know, they are showing you that kind of hammer coming down, which signifies justice, the ending of a situation. You know, when we go through something legally at court, the judge puts the hammer down. It's the final call. And this is the final call. They're being called to their truth. They're being called to action. They're being called to end what needs to go. Remember, whatever's unhealthy. That was the energy in the week. So the unhealthy things are now going. So he's showing you from going within and facing his fears and illuminating his mind, he's making that ending flow in. And he says, don't carry bitterness 
and then dissolve the saying dissolve the past but dissolution from the past be as honest as you can with yourself so this is about dissolving the past and healing it and not carrying any bitterness around releasing that and if you feel bitter about anything today that's going on that is affecting what you see forgive and heal and remember what triggers heals you don't feel bitter because you know it's it's teaching you a powerful lesson so that karmic situation or that karmic environment that your masculine seems to be in is helping them to see the truth and the truth is you and the love that you guys have it's very beautiful we've got i know i can't expect you to function my way but i still try so this is powerful because when we function a certain way we get triggered or we get kind of annoyed if people don't act the way we do but we're reminded here that we're all different so even though you and your masculine are one you have different ways sometimes of doing things viewing things the action steps you take to each other are different sometimes so we have to be flexible and we have to be adaptable and have compassion so i know i can't expect you to function my way so it's remembering that they do it their way and they have to do it their own way that's how they learn they give me fear and that creates fear because we know in our heart the easiest way to union the quickest way to union and the way that we can sort things out and when you know it doesn't happen that way we can try and make it happen we can try and force it or make them see or make them understand and sometimes it's like banging our head on a brick wall or going round in circles because we don't seem to be getting through to that or getting anywhere at all so we're being reminded to take a step back that truth is coming in you know the masculines are realizing that they're functioning their own way they're doing it in their own way in their own time so trust them so the message today is the truth is coming out and things are ending that needs to go but we must believe in our faith and look past the ego the 3d world and the illusion and focus on the love so the masculine energy is revelation and that's absolutely what's happening and look what we've got there we've got a key in between the eyes and that's connected with the third eye opening again the key to the truth seeing the truth the understanding it says accept things the way they are and there is no one to blame not even you so again it's about forgiveness so the masculines are working through that forgiveness of themselves working through any guilt or any pain or any struggle because they're accepting this is the way it is they can't fight the feelings for you they can't deny those feelings for you so they have to change their life and accept things and open the key to their future there is no one to blame not even you so you're being reminded here divine feminine that your masculine is innocent forgive them for what they seem to have done to you or to others or within the situation because they've been learning their lessons and he's saying to you today i see your photo and immediately put it away because your beauty tempts me so he's tempting you today or he's feeling tempted by you and i feel that you're feeling that desire and this has been coming up all through the last week of this wanting you this passion this desire so he's saying to you you know i'm watching you i see your photo so he may be looking at your photo online and then he clicks off suddenly you know this is the times as well when they block you because when they and obviously not now but in the past okay or if he's blocked you right now the reason why is because he can't sometimes handle the feelings that come out when he's looking at your photograph or he's seeing your posts or he's dealing with your energy because it's too tempting so sometimes if the masculines are with someone else they kind of put you away or seem to put you away put you in a box to forget you but you're everywhere they go anyway you know you're everywhere they go you're all that they see you know you're everywhere they see you in a stranger you know the smile you know the eyes they see you they see you in films they get reminded of you in everything they're doing so i see your photo so he's definitely been viewing you somehow and immediately put it away now you may not be on social media and you may think well how's he seen my photo then how's he viewed my photo 
He's got a filing cabinet about you in his head. And all he has to do is open it up with that key. And when he opens it up, he sees all of you everywhere. But he sometimes puts it away into the back of his mind or into his heart because he's so tempted by you and he wants you so much, he desires you so much. And they give me a deep breath, taking a swallow, you know. He has to control himself when he thinks about you. We've got, I am, it, I am, I am an immature and stubborn child in the matter of love. Now, how true is that? I am immature. So he's saying to you, I'm not as mature as you. Now, this has nothing to do with physical age. So, you know, breathe that out straight away. Because usually, you know, there's a dynamic of a gap. So it's either you're the older one or they're the older one. But usually the divine feminine is the older one. Or if there is no age gap or if the masculine is older in physical years, they seem to be immature in, you know, spiritual years. So this is about that spiritual immaturity. Because the feminine is awake and aware and following the light and living in the light and being authentic and true. And he's still living in this matrix where he's fighting to get out. So he's saying to you, wow, you know, look at you. You seem to have it all together. You're so spiritually mature. You know what you're doing. And he's saying, I'm an immature and stubborn child. And he is stubborn sometimes because he wants to reach out to you. He wants to speak to you and tell you how he feels and open his heart. But his pride can hold him back. His situation can hold him back. So he's thinking, you know, in the matters of love, in the heart, I need to grow up. So he may be very powerful in his physical life. He could be successful, well-known. You know, he could be out there in society doing his thing. But in the matters of love, he's immature. And that's why he can hide away and deny things from himself that he can't deny because he's having revelations. But he's tried to hide it. And he's saying, I'm an immature and stubborn child. Can you forgive me? And really, in spiritual truth, there's nothing to forgive because he's learning and growing the way a child learns and grows. That's why he behaves sometimes like a child, running away, slamming the door in your face, hiding blocking you that's what children do when they have a tantrum or they don't understand or they need to go within so remember he's growing he's learning he's evolving just like you i thought staying in chaos was normal so he's saying i thought it was normal to live like this i thought it was normal to go through pain and struggle he says ideal relationships exist only in books and movies so until he met you he thought that real love that he's feeling now only existed in movies or in books or on a show. And you've showed him the truth. Wow, this is all real. Uh, it's all real. What is this? This is like Jack Skellington in The Nightmare Before Christmas. I'm doing The Nightmare Before Christmas. I've been calling it right now for members. But it's like Jack going into Christmas land when he's always lived in Halloween town. And he goes in there and he's like, wow, what is this? It's all magical. There's lights, there's singing, there's love. And he's never experienced anything like that because he's been in the darkness of Halloween town. So he's like, wow, what is this? This is how your masculine feels when he meets you, when he remembers who he is, when he connects with his true essence, when he feels all that passion and desire for you. He's like, wow. This is real. It's an ideal relationship. So he sees you, Divine Feminine, as the ideal relationship. And that brings him power. So we've got addictions for the feminine. Take care that you're not led astray by temptations of materialism, power or self-deception. Now, what I'm feeling with this is it can be an addiction to one tower twin. We can get very obsessive and desperate about it and I've been there okay and this is what we work through so not all of you are going to be feeling this energy but you may experience it on and off between now and Christmas time you know the masculine can be the addiction that's why we can check out the social media because we can't stop ourselves sometimes we're curious we want that glimpse we want to know what's going on and then we get triggered because we see something we don't like so we wish we hadn't done it and then we go into anxiety. 
So I don't see this as an addiction as in drugs or, you know, anything like alcohol or anything like that. What I'm seeing it as is that you releasing the need to have it now, the need to control, you know, that kind of struggle energy. You're releasing that. And the angels are with you always, keeping you strong. So take care of you. Release, relax, breathe. Know that you are safe and loved and protected. Take care that you're not led astray by temptation. You don't let the ego get you down. You know, you don't go into fear over it thinking, wow, they must be really happy then with their person if they're putting it all over social media. Remember, most of the time, their person makes them put it on social media. You know, the masculines can keep themselves to the self or they put that mask on or they get very frustrated when their life seems to be all over the place. So take care that you're not led astray. And that could even be by other people. You know, it could be your family saying, move on. You know, it's not real. It could be other divine feminines not in power at that moment, struggling, saying, oh, let's just move on, forget the journey you know, it's not real, or you watch a reading that's very negative and it drags your energy down, so be very careful, you know, between now and Christmas time, and that's the energy I'm feeling, it's not just today, it's the energy between now and Christmas that you're not led astray, you're not, you know, led off your path, you're not distracted by temptations of having it now, because that's what materialism is, so obviously materialism means things we have in the physical world. You may think of materialism as financial, you know, a car, a home, money. But I'm seeing this as the having of it now. Remember, it's all in divine timing. Your journey is protected and you are safe. And, you know, the power of self-deception. So when we go into ego, we create illusions in our mind. We project things into the future. There's fear there. And you're always being reminded you're on the right path. And, you know, this could also be maybe drinking a bit too much at Christmas time. You know, maybe kind of thinking, oh, I'll have a drink and I'll numb the pain. But I feel that's more what the masculines are doing. And that's what you're connecting with. So if you do feel drunk this Christmas time and you're not even having alcohol, it's because you're connecting with what they are going through. Because the masculines, a lot of them anyway, not all of them, but a lot of them are going to be drinking themselves silly to try and deal with what they're going through, to get through it. So take care that you're not led astray, okay, by the obsessive feeling of needing it now or the fear over what they're doing in the physical world or what other people are saying or, you know, you know, just bringing the energy in. So trust in who you are. And he says, how can you take me back every time? Why don't you punish me? So this is also how forgiving the masculines can be. Okay, now you're both forgiving, but the masculines always forgive the divine feminine. And if, you know, as a feminine, we may think, well, what have we done wrong? But we can push it. You know, we can send message after message after message. We can be pressuring and demanding but the masculines forgive like that, you know, even if they don't seem to be or they seem to be doing something crazy on social media, they always forgive you for everything because in their spiritual truth, there's nothing to forgive. The masculines see you as the ideal one. It's them needing to punish themselves that they struggle with. So take this message how it resonates with you. How can you take me back every time? Why don't you punish me? So that could also be the masculine saying to you, how do you always forgive me when I've behaved like a child and I've upset you? But I feel this is the masculine energy always being there for the feminine. You know, the masculine always being there for you. And I know they're not always there for you physically, but they're always there. You know, they're always they're inside of you. So the message coming through is your masculine is always connected with you will always want you and always desire you regardless of how you act, the things you do or the things you say. They will always return to you, Divine Feminine. That's the message. So your masculine will return to you. They'll deal with their truth and they will unlock the door to your future. 
It's just all happening in divine time. So trust the journey. You are loved and safe. So big shout out to Jarmy for these beautiful cards. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.